This is a Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around we're going to look at how the router ID either gets configured or is calculated. Uh, so first of all, let's look at our routing, uh, our interfaces, show IP interface. We only have a single VE here, uh, 192.168.1.55 is its address, uh, and we have a basic amount of OSPF running. So there's there is one OSPF neighbor who's the DR, uh, I'm the BDR in this case. Um, his IP is 1.56, his neighbor ID is 1.1.1.1, and we are 192.168.1.55. As you can see, it's the same as a VE address. Um, so if I do a show IP OSPF, we can see what my current router ID is. So it's 192.168.1.55. And so the hierarchy for router ID is if there is a router ID manually configured with the IP router ID command, it always takes precedence. If there is no router ID command configured, then it will use the IP of the lowest loopback on the device. If there's no loopback on the device, then it will use the lowest IP address on the device, and which is what it's doing right now. So it's using 192.168.1.55 because there's no loopbacks and because there's no router ID. So um, I'm going to add a loopback first. So interface, interface loopback 2, for example. Uh, we'll give it an IP address. Um, let's say 3.3.3.3 slash 32 um, and so my router ID will still be the same which it is so my router ID has not yet changed even though there's a loopback so in order to make that change I need to um, clear IP router ID and now if I look at that again it is now changed to 3.3.3.3, which is the IP of the lowest loopback on my device. So if I add a new loopback, uh, loopback 1, our loopbacks start at 1, by the way, and go up. So um, we'll give that 2.2.2.2 um, slash 32. Um, and again, we'll clear our ID, uh, our router ID. Yep. Show IP OSPF. So our router ID has now changed the lowest loopback on the device. Um, so lastly, uh, and the highest in the hierarchy is the actual router ID command, which is uh, certainly the best practice so that you always know who your router ID is. And more importantly, if the router ID changes at any point, it's going to clear your neighbor relationship. So if you have OSPF running or more importantly, BGP running, and in BGP you may have half a million or a million or a couple of million routes uh, to multiple neighbors, and if that router ID changes, it's going to dump all of those BGP sessions and have to restart. And not only is that hard on your router, but it's hard on your upstream neighbor's routers as well because they got to resend those routes. So. Um, so we are actually going to put in a global router ID command. So it's router dash ID. And this, this does not have to be a legitimate address. It could be anything you like. So it could be, you know, 0001. It could be, it does not have to be a legitimate IP address. But we'll just pick something here. Um, and so my router ID, as you can see, has now changed to 5.5.5.5 because that router ID always takes precedence over everything else. Uh, so that's it. So best practice is to configure a router ID. If you don't have a router ID, it uses the IP of the lowest loopback. If there's no loopbacks, it uses the lowest IP on the device. Okay, thanks for joining.